An NC State professor is now in the national spotlight, and it's all because of his connection to Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh. We know that Charles Ludington and Judge Kavanaugh were classmates at Yale. But what else do we know about him? CBS 17's Robert Richardson joins us now with those answers. Online reaction to Charles Ludington's statement about Brett Kavanaugh continues to be split. One comment on my Facebook post about Ludington said, God bless you, while another called him a clown. I felt it was my civic duty to tell of my experience while drinking with Brett. Which meant contacting the FBI to counter Kavanaugh's claims about alcohol consumption in college. It downplayed to a great degree the possibility that he could ever not know what was going on. So you're saying there were omissions? I'm saying they were omissions. So politically, who is Charles Ludington? Since he went public with his history with Kavanaugh, I decided to find out. Ludington's minivan has Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders bumper stickers. He's a registered Democrat, but campaign contributions are few and small. Federal Election Commission records show Ludington gave $40 to a political action group supporting Democrat John Kerry's 2006 presidential bid. Since 2013, he and his wife have also given $183 to Act Blue, which raises money for Democrats and progressive groups. It is truth that is at stake, and I believe that the ability to speak the truth, even when it does not reflect well upon oneself, is a paramount quality we seek in our nation's most powerful judges. People are posting hateful things about Ludington online, and since some others who've shared their stories about Kavanaugh have received death threats, I contacted the chairman of NC State's history department to ask if classes were continuing as usual. He referred me to campus police. A lieutenant for NC State police told me that they continuously monitor for potential threats and take the safety of the campus community very seriously, but for security reasons, they cannot provide specific information about security measures for either individuals or campus spaces. Reporting at NC State in Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News. All right, Robert, thank you. And Ludington says media members contacted him earlier in the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings, and he had nothing to contribute at the time. He came forward after he says Kavanaugh lied to senators about his alcohol consumption.